Hello everyone, in this short video we are going to learn systematic sampling. What is systematic sampling? In a systematic sampling, the sample members from a population are selected according to a random starting point but with a fixed periodic interval. What are the necessary steps in doing a systematic sampling? First, you need to define your target population. Similar with the other research projects, you need to decide your population that you will be studying. Second, you need to figure out your ideal sample size. In computing your sample sizes, you may use sample size calculators. Third, you need to assign a number to every member of the sample. Fourth, you need to calculate the sampling interval. In calculating your sampling interval, you may use this formula. I is equal to capital letter N over small letter N. The capital letter N stands for your population and small letter N stands for your desired sample size. Let us say the population is 30 and your desired sample size is 5. Our sampling interval in this case is equal to 6. Fifth, you need to choose a random starting point between 1 and the sampling interval. And lastly, you need to repeat the sampling interval to choose your subsequent elements. Let us say we have a population numbered from 1 to 30. And we desire to have 5 samples from this population. With that, we can calculate our sampling interval. Using the formula, a population of 30 divided by 5 as our desired sample size, our sampling interval is equal to 6. After which, you choose a random starting point between 1 and the sampling interval. Let us say we randomly picked 1. To obtain the final sample size in the population, you add the random starting point plus the sampling interval. In this case, 1 plus 6 is equal to 7, plus 6, 13, plus 6, 19, and plus 6, 25. The blue circled individuals are the chosen samples. Here is the formula to check if we have correctly picked our last sample. Our random starting point plus n minus 1 times the sampling interval. In our example, our random starting point is 1 plus our desired sample size is 5 minus 1 times the sampling interval. 4 times 6 is 24 plus 1 is 25. Correct! The 25th individual was the last chosen sample. According to Hayes 2020, systematic sampling is still thought of as being random if the periodic interval or your sampling interval is determined beforehand and the starting point is chosen at random. Today, we learned systematic sampling. 